Some of you may have seen the YouTube short I did or the TikTok and you'll know that I've customised this Equinox Trust booth. For me, this is the daddy of all booths, not only because I've customised it, but just because it's rigid, it's the perfect height for me, it's exactly what I need, it's the perfect depth, it's everything I've been looking for in a booth. Yeah, and trust me, I've gone through enough booths to know that. I've had the Equinox Mark II, I've had the Gorilla version of the Equinox Mark II, the Equinox Combi booth, the Micron, this one, facades, light console XPRS, and I've had another little table that I've got in there. I'll have to dig that out actually. But anyway, this is the booth that I dream of. Yeah, um, and I've customised it. As you can see, I've put wheels on it. So I'm gonna talk you through it now. I've had this for a couple of months and I've been using it at gigs. And I'm just gonna sort of tell you my findings. But first of all, let's take a little look at it in close up. So the first thing you're gonna notice is I've put some wheels on it. These are just caster wheels that I bought from B&Q and they've got brakes on them. So when I get to a gig, I make sure that the wheels are facing inwards. I have to go around that way. And then I just stick a brake on. And I do that on all four, so the booth isn't gonna go anywhere. This booth folds down flat, so it's easy for transport, but I carry it around erected. So I've put some self-tappers on there and down here, so that it stays as one rigid piece. The next thing I did was I put some Loctite inside here, so that that is very, very secure and it's not gonna come off. What I then did was fitted these. These are an overhead kit from the Equinox Mark II. Um, they're pretty much tight, they're not gonna go anywhere, but they're not a permanent fixture. Um, and what I do with these, if I just twist that round, is I can undo this and go as tall or as small as I want. I stick the little catchment in there, and then I can mount my wash lights or whatever I wanna mount on top. Then I've got this shelf that's also from an Equinox Mark II and this slots on like that. And then I can stick my laptop on there and I can put a couple of moving heads on there as well. But that pretty much stays on the booth at all times. Now I've had some tight squeezes with this booth. Um, however, I've not been in a situation where I've been to a gig and I couldn't get it into the room that I needed it to. I've carried it upstairs. If you watch one of my recent TikToks, you'll see that I went up three flights of stairs with it. Um, it lives in the back of my van. I ratchet strap it down and or bungee it down. Um, and it's not really a problem. I highly recommend if you've got a van and you've got the space to store this fully erected at all times, just do it. On the last video, there were people that were in the comments saying things like, oh, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't take that much of your time to pack it up. Well, you're right, it doesn't. It takes probably five minutes to pack it up and set it up, but those five minutes, on every gig spread across a whole year or a couple of years makes a massive difference. And what you've got to remember is, I'm not just doing this to save time, I'm doing a number of different things. And if they all save me five minutes, when you add them all up, you've got 30 minutes of, of, of time that you've saved. And those 30 minutes added up over a whole year make a massive difference. Time is money, work smarter, not harder. But truthfully, the best thing about this booth is it doubles up as a trolley. When I get to a gig, I can just load a load of stuff on there, lights, controller, mixer, laptops. I can just load it up on there and wheel it in. It's perfect.